Hi everyone, in this video I will install PyHole on Ubuntu Server 22.04.3, which is the latest version with LTS long-term support. PyHole is a DNS sinkhole server which helps protect users by checking DNS requests attempting to connect to malicious domain names and is well known for blocking ad serving sites. My version of Ubuntu and I have a static IP address on here. 192.168.2.199 and to set up the static IP address I'm going to Etsy net plan and there's the YAML file here and you can modify it or you can create a new one accordingly and here's my YAML file and there's my IP address I'm going to download PyHole open up my web browser PyHole install and under installation and you can check the prerequisites here. And so I'm running Ubuntu and 22.x, and I'm on an x86 underscore 64 architecture. So I'm just going to go to installation here. There's a one step automated install. Curl, it gets the file here, it gets the script here, and then it runs it via bash. And there's the alternative one, cloning it from GitHub. And then there's alternative two, manually download the install and run. I like this option here because we got to download it and then we can check the file, make sure everything's okay before running. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'll go into a temp directory. And then I'll wget it. And you can check the file, do a more on it, and make sure that everything's okay in it. And afterwards, you get to run it. And to run it, sudo bash basic dash install dot sh. OK. OK. So there's a static IP address, so I'm going to continue. And then select the upstream DNS server. I'll use Google. And I'll hit OK. And then I'm going to say yes. So include Stephen Black's unified host list for blocking ads. And I want to install the admin web interface. So yes, a web server is required for the admin web interface. Do you want to install Light HTTPD and the required PHP modules? Yes. And would you like to enable query logging? Yes, I want to enable query logging and select the privacy mode. I want to show everything. I want to see everything that comes up. So pick the first option and continue. So it's now going to install everything and create the necessary files. The installation is complete and it says here configure your devices to use the PyHole as their DNS server. Here's the IP address and here's the how to access the web interface and the administrative password. So I'm going to hit OK and I'm back into the shell. So I'm going to go back into Firefox, open up a new tab. And I'm at the login screen. OK, I am logged into the Pi hole here. I would change the password and you can go back into your Ubuntu server. And you can type in Pi hole space dash A space dash P and enter in the new password. Okay, new password is set, and I'm just going to log out. And I'll put in my new password and log in. And I'm back in. I'm going to do a test now. So this is without PyHole being set up as the DNS server. So I'm going to go to cnn.com. And we'll see here at the top here that looks like there's an advertisement here at the top. And there's an advertisement here at the bottom. All right, so there's ads coming up here. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this. All right, and if I open up command prompt here, I do an IP config space slash all. So there's my IP address. It's the default gateway. DHCP server and this is the DNS server it's using, 192.168.2.1. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to go to network and internet settings. 
I'm going to change adapter options. Right click on this, go to properties, go to IPv4, go to properties. And then I'm going to use the following DNS server. So this is going to be the Pi hole server, my Ubuntu server, 12.168.2.199. That's the static IP address I've set on my Ubuntu server. Hit OK. I'm going to hit close. And if we do an IP config again, and we see here that the DNS server is set as to 2.199. So I'm going to open up Edge again. I'm going to go into settings. I'm just going to clear out the history. And I'm going to clear everything. Okay, and now I am going to close this. And now I'm going to go to CNN again. Okay, and there's no ad coming in on the top here. And let's see if there's ad coming up here. Looks like it's not loading up either. And now I am going to go into Firefox and we'll see here that it's no longer zero. There's total queries 172, queries blocked 99, percentage blocked 57.6. And so I can to list all the queries. So if I click on here and you'll see what's being blocked here and you'll see what's being allowed. So there's this one here, ads.pubmatic.com. It's being blocked and it's being blocked on my Windows machine here from 192.168.2.111. And we go back to the dashboard. And so we can see the total number of queries. It's finally graphing now. And we get to go scroll down and see the top permitted domains and the top blocked domains. So these are all the domains that are being blocked, which is good. And here are the top clients. So this is my machine here that's been doing the requests. So there's 176 requests that just came in to the pie hole here. So we've confirmed with this test that it's working. And now you can go to your internet router and change the DNS server to have it use your pie hole server. So that's how you would install pie hole on Ubuntu server. I hope this was helpful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.